Comfort food is an incredible thing. A simple meal that with one bite, you can be rocketed to a place of emotional stability. For me, it was canned salmon, combined with eggs and saltines into a patty. This week on Lex Rocks, Chef Jeremy Ashby creates the mother of all comfort foods. <laughs> We are at Azur with uh, one of the owners and head chef, Jeremy Ashby, mm -hmm. and you're just going to show us around the restaurant that you pronounced that right. Did, I, did yeah. people say that wrong? I say my last name wrong all the time. How do you, how do... I get tongue tied and I don't like <laughs> Aspie or... Aspie? Yeah. Well, let's see how this goes <laughs> and maybe we'll change it to that. Uh, so Azur, how long have you guys been here? Wow, that's a hard question. Like 11 years? 11 so, years. like, we made it? I think they say, you know, after the third or fifth oh, year, they like, we're kind of okay. So, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're off and running, you know. So, you've heard they're not going anywhere? Not going anywhere. Uh, but, so, what's kind of weird is in the last three or four years, yeah. Lexington has really kind of turned into what people would say is a food town, but you guys were here long before that, like, you, are you guys kind of like, hey, come on in, the water's great, good to see everybody. Yeah. You know, I guess there's that term trailblazer, and I mean, not saying that, you know, we are at all, but I think this, this little world here that's Azor in this little strip mall in a suburb, not downtown, at the center of the heart of the Mecca of the town. We were able, you know, to, to open a place that the ever had was low enough to we could play around and experiment. Well you know this 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 restaurant opened up with rabbit and rack of elk and you know really cool menu items from this town. Like right on day one. Yeah. And I think, you know, I think it kind of set the tone and, and you know, with Sullivan moving into Lexington, you have this influx of you know, young chefs and they're opening up restaurants now. So 10 years later, you're kind of seeing the snowball effect of, okay, we got cool chefs in town, great ideas. And also over the past 10 years, I think all the restaurants have gotten on board and exposed a lot of people to new different foods. One, the foods that grow here are very prominent, but also we're kind of you can have like roll the ingredients and things that you wouldn't see in a new potatoes town. Talking about kind of the foods that are available in this area, right out here on your patio, you guys do a farmer's market. Oh. Come here, come on this way. You know, you're shopping for your food and you know, one of my guys might come out and be like, yeah, we need some more tomatoes. And you know, the, the, yeah, like the customers see that and they see like, oh my God, they're yeah. cooking real food. Like I should be able to do what Jeremy's doing yeah. because I'm buying the same ingredients. Exactly. And, and then that's what happens. You make this connection between like food, real food, and real people, and then real farm. Yeah, you have offered to show me how to cook something, and all this talk about foods making me hungry. So, yeah, you know, go yeah let's go cook. Well, I think we're going to do some, some hemp. Hemp? Like, like this Kentucky's economic agricultural future. Is that, well, would that get me high? Uh, no, I mean, uh, will well, you cook something that'll get me high? I'll try. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll, I, I, I just got to call a guy real quick. Okay, all right. Let's work on it. So we are set up in the kitchen here at Azur and... They said set up. <laughs> kind of. We're not we're set up. We're winging it. Okay. We are winging it here at the uh, kitchen at Azur. Yeah. We are set up as it ever gets. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, where, what are we making? Uh, like chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. Emphasis on the pot. Uh, yeah. Because the secret ingredient is... Hemp. Hemp. So, I mean, that's like Kentucky's, in, our, in my opinion, just the future of agriculture here. You know, we've lost tobacco. We're losing coal. Uh, so, you know, I think a lot of farmers have turned to making food. Okay. And the cool part about hemp is you know, talk about the, you know, how many uses it has from a textile standpoint. Right. But uh, there's also a lot of good food stuff you can do with it. I mean, this is actually, this is not Kentucky hemp. We cannot, we're just now getting legislation where we can do it, like not, not research. Legal to have not legal to Kentucky hemp right now. So this is from Canada. So, uh, you know, you make sure dry ingredients, if you notice, like the, the white flour is quickly being overtaken by the the happy greenness of the hemp. Yeah, that's very, very botanical. I'm going to have you get in there and just kind of work your hands. Can do this? Yeah, hey, you can do this. And I'm going to start adding a little bit of cold water. Okay. Just so we have what we would we'll call it pie dough. Should I have washed my hands before? You know, you're, 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 cooking, for, you're okay. cooking for yourself. That's right, okay, yeah. And this is just an experiment anyway. Well, we I have no idea what we're doing. I know where my hands have been, so... Exactly. Uh, 
So did you, is, is, I know for a lot of people it is, chicken pot pie, is that comfort food for you? Did you grow up eating that? Does that remind you of home? You know, I'm more like a chicken and dumplings kind of guy. Sure. But, okay. uh, you know, I, I also grew up like every normal American kid. I mean, I'm, all, I'm like a, a generation away from hillbilly, really. So, you know, if I had a chicken pot pie, it was probably with the same little frozen ones that yeah, you had, sure. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it took like 40 minutes to bake in the oven, uh -huh. and you're just sitting around just hungry as hell because you're waiting so <laughs> long for it. So a little bit of a carrot in there. What is, speaking of microwave chicken pot pies, what is, as a chef, what is your guilty pleasure? What is it that you eat sometimes nice. that you would like people not to know? Maybe? Oh man, that's a great question. Like, there's, there'll be times where it's like way past midnight, yeah. you know, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, it's like those like little to Tony's or Totino's pizzas. Those are great. Right. But like, here's the deal. I don't want to wait for them to cook, so I'll microwave them. Oh. And they're like sloppy, and yeah. I just fold them over like a taco. Yeah, they've changed the shape of them. They're square now. What? They're square now. Did you know that? What am I going to do? I don't know. Uh, it's a flatbread sandwich, right? <laughs> so we're trying to get a little bit of edges here. Uh, I love how it's a sliding crust pan, too. A little bit of chicken. Uh, if I were, you know, doing this for me, I'd be using some dark meat. Chicken thighs. Best part, right? Yeah. Like the superior part. Exactly. Leg thighs. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a leg and thigh man. I am. Not, well. not as much as a breast man. Well, you know. But I, I mean, I'm not complaining. Sure. Nobody's going to say no to breast. So there is nothing that makes me feel esoteric like pork rendering. Oh, yeah. So this is the esoteric portion of the show. Okay. I, I try to ask this of all my guests. So assuming nothing about your worldview, maybe you got this from a creator, maybe you got this for yourself. Why do you exist? Why are you on this planet for whatever amount of time you have? Let's, let's, let's guess 70, 80 years. Why are you here? Man, I I think it's, you know, I think it was important they got put me in front of a stove and say, cook. Now, I, I really like making people happy. I mean, I think, you know, serving other people is what, you know, what kind of empowers me. I mean, I, I, I love how, you know, you, you get leadership from them. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're able to serve somebody, then, then uh, you know, I think leadership comes naturally. If you, if you can't give, you can't share, then I think that, you know, uh, you know, finding yourself is very, very hard. You know, you learn a lot from yourself when, you're, when, you, when your goal is to please another person. I think, you know, that's, good. that's, good. that's a hard damn question. Well, yeah. this, this is not a... Oh, I think. Yeah, we don't, mess, cooking. we don't mess around. One of the things that I love about cooking is this smell right here. Like, you know, when, you know how you, you, oh, yeah. you make like spaghetti or something? The, yeah. It's the onion and garlic, like this, that magic, I mean, it's already getting you, right? Yeah, that's like, nice. This is the thing that keeps me coming back day by day. Is that Somebody did like that would be the one thing that would probably take some getting used to. Right. Like why is my why is my chicken pot pie yeah. green? Yeah. But it looks delicious. It looks awesome. It smells great. Uh, the presentation here. Uh, I'm gonna dig in. Is that, I hope so. Do you think it's gonna burn the crap out of my mouth? Of course. Like, I mean, that's the chicken pot pie experience. Well, that's what I was going for. Just to go ahead and fry your taste buds. That's <laughs> they, if it's bad, you, you don't even know. I won't know. Oh yeah, wow, you can tell me that's hot. Yeah. I'm gonna blow on that for a second. Yeah, I'll give that one a second to cool that. Alright, I'm gonna Isaac, take my bite. Cool it's delicious. Yep. The, um, the crust is, it's a little, like, it's a little gritty, mm -hmm. but not, you know, not, it's not to such a degree that it would be right. a problem. We had a high ratio of him, too. I thought a little bit more than one, one part. Okay. But uh, you don't really want you to kind of feel the effect. And that's yeah. why we're making this, is to uh, experiment with like people. Oh, hey, yeah. this is here, it's out there, it's delicious. The, the filling, incredible. I uh, uh, Really, really great. Good deal. Uh, yeah, people are going to watch me eat for a while. Uh, <laughs>